Okay, so Roguelike Browser Boilerplate is this template project for making your own web browser based roguelike game. Um, in this series of screencasts, I'm showing you how you can customize the boilerplate to make your own game. Um, you can find the link to the boilerplate in the show notes below the video. Uh, this, in this next video, I'm going to show you um, how to customize the graphics. So we're going to change the actual graphics in the game itself. I'm going to start um, as I have previously by just loading up the zip file that you get. You get this zip file from it, the itch.io page um, and then load it into this browser that I'm using called slingcode.net. It's an online browser so you don't need to use a text editor on your own computer. Um, and then once you've loaded, up, loaded it up, um, we're going to start changing the graphics. So let's see how it looks just normally first. So we see the before and after. <clears throat> All right, so we get into the game and you got this little guy here and you can walk around collecting coins and stuff as we saw in the last screencast. Now what we want to do is replace this tile set with a different tile set. But before we do that, I'm going to show you just editing this tile set. So if you just wanted to make a couple of small tweaks to what's already there, that's quite easy. So amongst the files here, you've got the HTML and JavaScript file. And then right over here, you've got this one colored tile map packed. Now, if you look in main.js, you'll see that that um, is being loaded as the tile set by rot.js, the library. So um, that's, our, that's our current tile set being used. So we click on that image. And that's got everything that you can see in the game here is being drawn from this um, palette of tiles. So what we're going to do is just copy that image. So I'm just going to show you modifying this slightly. So we're going to copy that image and then we're going to go to piskelapp.com, P-I-S-K-E-L-A-P-P.com, which is an online um, image editor specifically designed for editing, you know, pixel graphics. And I'm just going to do command or control V paste that in. So import a single image, yep, that's fine. Um, and we can see here our tile map zoomed in. Now there's a couple of uh, nice options that Piscal app presents you with, one of which is over in the settings over here you can say grid size 8 pixels, so that gives us our actual, you can see a little line around each sprite, that helps, helps us figure out where we are. And um, for this, we're just going to do a small edit. So let's just change the color of the uh, hero's pants here. So we're going to change his pants to... Um, let's make them blue instead. This horrendous purple color here. All right, well, that's not really different enough. So let's make his pants green. Okay, bright green. Lime green pants in the dungeon, just hanging out. And... Draw those couple there. There we go, look at that. Now why don't we change this band here since uh, since we're here. We'll do like a nice aqua. Whoops. It's, uh, it's going to a rave or something like that. And this one here, a bit more faded out. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we've updated this image. And what we can do is just export and we go to um, PNG and we're going to say sprite sheet data URI export and open that, open the sprite sheet as a data URI. So we'll open that up. And what that does is open a new tab and you can see the updated image here. I mean, you can't see very well. If we zoom in, you sort of can, but he's got green pants on now. Um, and we're just going to copy that image. And then we're going to go back to sling code here and still with this tab, the colored tile map packed focused, we're going to say command or control V to paste it in. And it'll say pasting a PNG, replace the current file. And we're just going to say yes. Okay. Now you probably can't see that, but his pants have gone green. So let's just um, save the HTML file here to reload the game. And when we go in, we can see now that our hero has got green pants. So that's uh, sort of like a quick, easy way to tweak the existing tiles. If you just want to like change the graphics a little bit, you can use this piscalapp.com and just tweak the graphics there. You can, of course, you also use a um, 
editor on your on your local file system if you have something installed. So if you want to do more than tweak, if you want to entirely replace these graphics with your own um, with your own graphics or with a different tile set from online, we can do that too. And that's that's what I'll show you now. So let's go into main.js. Uh, all right, well, first of all, let's find a, a tile set that we want to use. Um, this one's by kenny.nl, K-E-N-N-E-Y dot N-L. And there's another one at kenny.nl, which is the one bit rogue pack. Uh, and I really like this uh, tile set. It's a sort of minimal rogue tile set. It's a bit more comprehensive than the other one. Um, and there's a couple of other differences, 16 by 16 tiles instead of eight by eight. So uh, we'll get those integrated. So you can just download that one and I've already downloaded this. So what I'm gonna do is just go straight to, I've, I've unzipped it on my local drive. I'm just gonna go straight to um, adding the file. So what you want is the tile sheet and colored packed. So that's all the tiles together. So from the one bit pack Kenny, tile sheet colored packed. And we're just gonna open that one up. Now you can see it's added a new tab here with that file loaded in. And if you wanted to tweak it, you could do the same thing as we did before. You could load it up in Pisco app and uh, tweak whatever you want, but I'm just gonna use it the way it is. Right, so now if we run this, and what we wanna do now is change these graphics to actually use the tile sheet. So we're gonna come over here to main.js and this right at the top of the file, there's this bit here where it says tile set dot source equals color tile my packed. And that's the old one. And we wanna change it to colored underscore packed dot PNG, the new one. So we say colored underscore packed. Now, if we save that, it's gonna look horrendous. Okay, and the reason for that is because it's looking up the references for all the positions within this tile sheet, but it's looking them up within this tile sheet. So it's just getting random spots. And to add to that, the uh, size of the tiles is different. These ones are 16 bit. 16 pixels and the old, old ones were eight pixels. Right, so let's uh, fix all that. The first thing we're gonna do is say tile width and tile height should be 16 by 16. Then we want to um, specify where, which characters are drawn where. So the at character is the player. And in the old tile sheet, it was at position 40 pixels by zero pixels. In the new tile sheet, we can find out where it is by loading this up and putting it back into Piscal app. And if we, and so now we can actually find a character that we like. Um, so let's say we want it to be this guy here. And if we put the map, if we put the mouse over that, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, um, actually you can't because the camera's covering it. Uh, if we put the if we put the mouse over the point this point where this plate this character is you can see in the bottom right hand corner down here it says what position it is so we're just going to copy those so 384 by 96 and we're going to put that into main.js um, at 384 by 96 384 by 96 and we'll hit save and see what happens so now we can see that that's pulled in our little our little fella here from the uh, from the tile map, our new character. Now I'm not gonna go through every single one of these, um, but I did actually figure them all out earlier. So I'm just gonna paste them straight in over the top. Um, but you can do that for every type of new thing you wanna draw, you add a new entry like this. Um, so yeah, these are the new values here. And when I save and run, I get all the trees and everything replaced. Now it looks a little bit janky because the background color of these tiles is different from the other tile set. And we can fix that pretty easily. What we're gonna do is, um, so the back, you can get the color of this tile by using a, any graphics editor, but I happen to know, to know the hex code, which is 47.2d3c. Um, what a, a, hex, <clears throat> a color lookup that I use is gcolor2, but there are ones for all different platforms, so you can find one on your local. So, Copy that. And then in the style, what we're gonna do is find the old background color, which is this one here, 222323. And we're gonna find all of those and replace them. So 222323, two, two, that's the first one. Just gonna paste over. I'm gonna do Control F to find again. Then we're gonna 
paste over. Oops. Then we're going to go Control F to find again, and this is the last one. And we're just going to paste over that. And now when we save it, it updates the background color of everything, so our new tiles look sweet. Now because these are, and there's our bad guy, he's a ghost now. Because these are um, 16 by 16 tiles, this is much larger, well it's twice as large as the old one. So another thing we can do is go into um, main.js here and find the zoom factor. Uh, there's two, one for mobile platforms, so touch screens, and one for monitors. And I'm just going to cut those in half, so four will become two, six will become three, and what that means is now the game is scaled down so you can see more on the screen. Um, but it's pretty much the, it's the same engine as before, but that shows you how, how easy it is to put a new tile set in there. And you can make your own tile set from scratch or um, whatever. Uh, yeah, so the only other thing is that, oh, I'll just quickly show you that in the uh, inventory here, it's also got the updated graphics from the new tile set. So I don't know why it's picked that one. I must have got the positions of those wrong. But anyway. Um, yeah, so if we go back to the menu, you'll see that there's some graphics still left over. So that's a sprite from the old sprite sheet. And the reason for that is the ones in the interface are defined in the style sheet. So if you just search for the word amulet, and you can find these sprites here, and um, these background positions need to be updated, and the width and height as well. So let's change that width and height to 16 because we're using 16 by 16 tiles. We'll change the actual name of the uh, tile map from the old one, again, to the new one. And let's scale it down so they're not quite so enormous. Um, actually, I'll leave them big. They'll look big, good big. Uh, and if we save that, we get a mishmash, and that's because we haven't updated these um, offsets. So these work the same way as the offsets in the main.js. Um, you can just... Uh, update this so that I've already actually done this but so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paste over the top of them but so the amulet is at minus 112 by 720 px and you can find that out in the same way using the piscal editor going to the amulet here and and you can see that it's 720 by 112 uh, and I'll just do the rest of them which I've done earlier so the tomb the ghost and empty and now if I save that, there we go, I get the uh, proper tombstone the way it's supposed to look. Um, and that's basically all of the graphics updated now. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, join me in the next video where I'll talk about sound. Thanks for watching.